how to create portfolio website with Canva for free. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio website using Canva for free. So let's get into it. First, you're going to go to canva.com and you will get right here. You can create your account on canva.com for free using your email address or you can use your Google account. So once you create your account on Canva, uh, you will get right here. There is a pro version available, but I will be using the free tools today to show you how you can create a professional and high quality website for free. Uh, Canva has a lot of different tools for us. It allows us to create presentations, edit videos. We can create invitations, t-shirt designs, logos, and much, much more. So in order to get started with a website, what we can do is we can either go ahead and get a custom size or we can actually, uh, you know, save our time by just searching right here in the search bar. You can search for website. It will take you to website templates. You will be able to find a lot of different templates right here for websites, high quality professional templates for different categories and niches. But we're looking for a portfolio website. So you can see at the top, we have different categories given. We have photography, we have beauty, we have fashion, and then we have portfolio here. So we're going to customize our search. And now we have the best templates available. You can see these are all portfolio websites that we can create. So now it depends on us what kind of website we're looking for. And I'm looking for a very simple portfolio website that I can create for my work. Uh, so we can select the template. So I will go with a free template, which is this one. So you can see this one looks pretty good, a photography template. And it is also related to my niche as well. I am looking to a photography portfolio. So you can see a lot of different templates that we can go for. So we're going to choose the template and click on customize. So you can see this is our template for a portfolio website. These are all the pages if I scroll down. Uh, different pages for a website so we can get started and customize it so this is going to be the first page and here we have the name so of course i'm going to change the name here and we can add any kind of name we want to so for instance i want to go with this name uh, and after that we have to enter like our title so it's fashion photography portfolio uh, so first say i actually don't do fashion photography instead we do wedding photography or maybe we kind of like go for a cinematic shots or something like that so you will just enter the name here for your portfolio website and then we have this like star here which i am not liking this is not like looking very professional so i'm gonna erase it and then we have a button here a lot of people think how we can add a button on canva well you just simply create this right here you can add a text and then you can add a link to any of the text that you're creating so with canva as well you will be able to create buttons and you will be able to add videos and footage too so this is our first page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the theme of all the pages. So to change the theme, we need to change this background color that we have. So I'm going to change this color to something else that I am looking for. For instance, we can go for this color. But of course, this is like way too dark. I'm going to make it lighter. And now it will look like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the background color for all of my website pages like this so that it matches uh, it creates like a theme and the template will be customized completely because we don't want to go for a template that everybody has we want to make it unique so i'm just going to change the background colors really quickly this right here we're going to change it to again this color so this is the first thing that you will do and now you can see it looks very different so then you will change the text for the first page, I changed the text already. Then we have artist biography. Now here, I want to add another title. I don't want to go for this one. I'm going to go for an about me page. So we're going to go with about me. And you can see text here we have is very less. What we can do is we can expand the text a little bit and we can add more text. Or you can expand this text too. So this is what it will look like. And then moving on, we have this text here, here which is the featured work. Um, again, you can now add some of the work here. For instance, I'm just going to give it the title of work. And we can expand it a little bit and place it here. Uh, and we will add the text according to our niche that we work in and the category that we go for. 
and then again we have a text here uh, we have an image as a background so let's change the images now um, so this is the first image we can go to the upload section here and this is where you will upload all the footage that you want to add you will add the photos videos that you want to go for in elements we can actually uh, work you know a lot around different elements we will be able to add lines and shapes we have buttons that we can add to a website we have graphics we have stickers uh, then we have photos videos we have charts tables frames grids then we have other things too if you want to create a header at the top and let's say you want to add like social icons into it this is like a first page and you want it to create a header so for that you can actually go to the element section here and add different elements you will be able to add like a menu you can add buttons to add social icons as well so uh, to upload the media, you will go to upload and upload the pictures and then add them here. Or we can also search for some free elements here in the element section. We can search for different photos. So you will add different images to your uh, website you can see it looks like this now i have added all of the images how you add an image to a website so it's actually really easy you're gonna first select where you want to add the image for instance here i added three of the images so this is the image that i added how you add you just drag the image and drop it right here when it's above that frame and it will be added to that specific frame if you want to add more images and add more frames you can go to the elements here and in elements you're gonna scroll down to find frame in frames you will be able to find a bunch of different uh you know shapes that we can go for and add them here so this is how i have uploaded these images because they do like city photography and you know stuff like that so you can see i changed everything on my website and this is what it looks like now a pretty good looking website and i'm creating with canva or i'm using all of the different free tools all of these images are for free and some of the images that i uploaded uh, then we have some of the decoratives that we can go for for a website on canva so for that you can go to the graphic section here and in graphic you will be able to find a bunch of different elements we have different gradients we have stickers we have designs we have uh, different collections available so we will be able to add them right here and when it comes to a button so i'm going to take you to the button section on canva here you can see all uh, here and let's say i want to add a button here so i what i will do is i will drag it and drop it right here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of the button to something like this we can just get rid of this one right here and place the button so after that we can go to the text in text i'm gonna go for a heading which is going to be click here like this and now we can select the text and change the color for the text uh, with the text as well we can do a lot of different settings we will be able to change the color we can change the alignment of the text the font everything so you can see I have selected the text and I'm going to place it here. And this is what it looks like. You can see I created a button uh, on Canva. If you add a text, you can see this is the text here. Click on the font and you will be able to customize the font of your website. Uh, similarly, we can also customize the uh, button colors and add all of the text. So a very simple design will be created with Canva. Very good looking and professional portfolio. So with this, I have a work page. I have a services page I can create. We can add a new page from this option right here, which says add page. If you want to delete a page, you will click on delete and it will be deleted. If you want to duplicate a page, you will click here. And if you want to again add another page, you can add from here. If you want to also adjust your page sizes and the uh you know page numbers then you can actually do that for instance we have home page then we have about page then we have gallery we have uh, a contact page at the end but let's say you wanted to add like about me a gallery page first then you can simply drag and drop the pages and adjust these sizes here click on these three dots and you will be able to again delete a page hide page lock and more um, you can zoom in to get the details of a website and of course customize your text this is what it will look like you will just you know change uh, all of the website you can work on like uh, one by one or you can just get a whole view and you can swipe up and down to work on your website so once the website is done you can uh, change the name here too click on preview and it will give you the preview of the website that you created this is what it looks like on the web you can also get a 
mobile view of your website. So you can click on publish and this is where you will publish your website. You can also get this design to your other websites that you're creating, for instance, on uh, Wix or if you have any other platform. So you can see this is what my website looks like. A resize on mobile, then we have free domain that I can get with Canva. We also have Canva domains available. Click on continue, get the domain and publish your website. If you just want to save the design, click on share right here. Click on download and you will be able to download this website design as a PDF or PNG as well. But for a website, you will just click on publish and your portfolio website design will be created on Canva. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.